Hi kids, I came out here to mow the lawn, but I keep getting chased by this funny math symbol. I think if I can learn about the math symbol, it will leave me alone. Do you think you can help me learn about this math symbol and comparing numbers? Thank you so much, I really appreciate this. Uh-oh, here he comes again. To start off learning, we are going to look at three symbols. Each one of these symbols are used to compare numbers. Some of these symbols may look familiar. For example, the sign on the bottom is an equal sign, and you have probably seen this before. Can you tell me what this symbol means? It means the same. That means whatever is on this side of the equal sign has to be the same as whatever is on this side for them to be equal. This symbol is the less than symbol. You can see how this symbol looks like a big alligator mouth. The less than symbol always has the big mouth facing the right side. The greater than symbol also has the same big mouth, but the mouth always points to the left. An easy way to understand these symbols and how we use them to compare numbers is to remember how we read. When we read a book, we read from left to right. We do the same when comparing numbers. We start from the left to right and that helps us know which symbol to use. We are going to use these symbols to compare numbers. Here is the numbers 16 and 14 and we are going to compare the two numbers to see which symbol we should use. To help me compare, we are going to use base 10 blocks. The number 16 is made up of 110 and 6 ones. We have 1 tens block, which represents the 1 in the tens place, and 6 ones to represent the 6 in the ones place. For the number 14, how many tens blocks do I need? I need just 1 tens block. How many ones blocks do I need? I need 4 ones blocks. Great job, kids! Looking at these two numbers, which one is bigger? The 16 is bigger than 14. Knowing that 16 is bigger than 14, which symbol do we use? We use the greater than symbol. It helps to remember to read the problem from left to right. So we say 16 is greater than 14. The big mouth is always going to eat the bigger number. Here we have two more numbers to compare. We have 11 on the left and 11 on the right. To use our base 10 blocks to get 11, how many tens blocks do we need? One, awesome job. Now how many ones blocks do we need? We need just one of the ones blocks. Now for the number on the right side, it is 11 just like the number on the left. So we use the same amount of blocks. Many of you probably already know which symbol we will use. Can you tell me the symbol? The equal sign. Great job, kids. Reading from left to right, we say 11 is equal to 11. Awesome. Here is the numbers 13 and 15. Go ahead and take a minute on your own to find out how many tens and ones blocks you will use with each number. The number 13 has one tens block and three ones blocks. The number 15 has one tens block and five ones blocks. Now to compare the numbers reading from left to right, which symbol will we use? We will use the less than symbol. Amazing! 13 is less than 15 and we can easily see that with the blocks and the numbers. Today we learned all about comparing two numbers using these symbols. Keep on learning and we will see you next time. Goodbye! Thank you for watching. Please share the video and subscribe.